Hollywood publicist Ronnie Chasen was shot to death in her car after a movie premiere two weeks ago. But Beverly Hills detectives won't say a word about their investigation. The only sketchy information has come from a preliminary coroner's report. What it did tell me was whoever did the shooting in this case was proficient in their art. They hit center mass, which is what you're going for in a kill. Gil Carrillo is a retired homicide detective. He says the preliminary report shows five bullet wounds to Jason's torso, indicating that the shooter hit a moving target with precision, something that would be difficult for anyone except a well-practiced marksman. On a still target, I don't know that I could hit, and I qualify, he's qualifying every trimester. I don't know that I could hit a shot group that that good. So it's somebody that's proficient in what they're doing. He says he thinks detectives can rule out some theories, like the murder was part of a gang initiation rite. Gang members don't shoot like this, and a gang member in Beverly Hills would stand out like a neon sign. Carrillo says the Beverly Hills investigators are probably digging into Chasen's life and business, looking for someone who might want her dead. Computers, emails, and stuff like that, her secretaries. She's crossed somebody over the years. Somebody is stewed. Maybe somebody lost something. Uh, there, there's got to be somebody out there that would have reason to do this. Jason's many friends in Hollywood insist that she wasn't mixed up in any shady business, but Carrillo says any business can get messy when there's enough money behind it. Friends only know what you want them to know. I don't care if it's your husband, your wife, they only know what you want them to know. And not to cast any aspersions on this nice lady. She could be cleaner and purer than the driven snow, but she's a business lady. And whenever you're dealing with business, at times, people get upset. In the midst of this speculation, there are many questions that still remain. Did a respected Hollywood professional become the target of a professional hitman? And if so, why? Raquel Maria Dillon, Associated Press, Los Angeles.